welcome to the first uh, annual R Cinema Oscar special. If you are waiting to see the On Cinema special, the fifth annual On Cinema special, that's not happening this year. That will return next year, and we'll probably also be doing the second uh, R Cinema simultaneously. So that's going to be interesting. Hi, Greg. Uh, sorry I was a little late. Um, I brought us the refreshments you asked for. Uh, it's not the soda you wanted, but I did get these. I did get these at Staples. Um, funny story about uh, how I got these is I had to get the toner for my printer, and my printer is older, and so the, the toner's in the closeout section. These were in that closeout section, and they were free because... They were free because... If they can't, they couldn't scan it. They couldn't find them in their computer. And so if they can't find them in the computer, they give them to you for free. That's their policy. So this, this was a closed out item because it didn't sell or it was um, expired or? Sorry, I don't, I don't, don't know. don't call in during the show. No, he didn't. In meddling with the show. <sighs> it, it, he can't operate a phone, probably. Well, he's it's in... Not, there's nothing. He's in, in the Middle East. Be at the very end of the list, alphabetically. Yeah. Strangely um, eliminated from contention... Um, this is something that I think Oscar needs to address. Last year it was Oscar so white, this year it's Oscar so A through M. It's Tim, but I don't know. I mean, it, it's going to be all night. He shouldn't really, if he wanted to do this, he should have just been here for the special. Now, we um, were not given uh, the budget or the crew that we would get for the on cinema special. However, uh, on the good side, we don't have Dakar or DKR here. We're just going to talk movies. Um, is H.B. Warner from uh, 1937's Lost Horizon. Can you get a picture of H.B.? Can we get H.B. Warner ever to be nominated and to lose for the goodbye girl? There she's, there's Quinn Cummings, 1977. And... And then we have James Coco at last. No, that's... Now, a lot of people don't know this if you're not in the industry, if you're not uh, a critic or an actor, uh, or not both, like some of us. Um, <clears throat> every year, the Oscar people that attend the award... Uh, hold on. It's hard with, with a uh, butter from the popcorn on my hand to slide on the thing. Hello, or hello. Hey, hey, it's me. Can you hear me? It's Tim Heidecker calling in. Yep, I hear you. What do you want? We're in the middle of the show. Well, I just wanted to call and say happy Oscars to everybody. And, uh, I'm in, uh, you know, we had a basically went for... The, um, we just finished basically two or three hours ago, um, and uh, just party. It was like unbelievable food. And okay. Well, we're, this is a movie show. This isn't 
uh, a recap of a concert that no one's interested in. Hello? Is that it? I guess that's it. Okay. The Oscar gift bags have uh, expensive iPods or jewelry or um, gift certificates for spas or just computers, laptops, expensive equipment. And some of the Oscar gift bags... Please don't call here anymore because it's... No, I, I got cut off. Hello? What? You there? Yeah, we're doing the show. I know. Uh, I'm, try I'm able to get it here. The uh, Wi-Fi in the hotel uh, is uh, like if, 15 bucks an hour. If you wanted to do the show, why didn't you stay here and put on the real show instead of going to Dubai? Because this studio is not good. And, and you cut, basically cut the funding down to about one one thousandth of what it would be for the on cinema special. I, I watch it. I think it's going well. I mean, listen. Well, it's going well, but. I don't, I, I don't know what's going on in the actual Oscars because they don't broadcast that here. But you maybe want to fill some people in on who's winning and who's losing because the whole point of the, the entire fucking point of doing this from the beginning for five years for five years of doing this Just has been to create an environment for this our cinema audience. I'm sorry for the on cinema audience. Ah, our cinema wait. audience. No, the on cinema family. Well, this is our cinema. Oh, hey! This is not on cinema. This is our cinema. I, I know, but you're not providing anything for these people. I'm, cause I'm watching. And I also want to know, where the fuck do you get it in your head to have Mark Broach on the show after I've explicitly said there would be conditions to how you would be able to operate this show? Well, we're going to have lots of guests. He's just one of the many guests we're having. No, I made it clear to you when I gave permission for this to happen. And I could, by the way... This but it's our show. cinema. Yeah, I don't need show permission from you. Right now. I don't need I don't need permission from you because this is our cinema. It's not on cinema. You're Completely at independent. This moment, you are existing on this, at this moment on my YouTube channel. Just hang up. Which doesn't cost you any there. money, and you didn't spend any money to have a crew well, here. I didn't give you Mark Protest. I didn't give Mark Pro permission to be there. Put him on. Well, he's a he's an independent human being. He's not. He doesn't need permission to go on our cinema, which isn't your show. Hey, Tim. Mark, when the fuck did I tell you you could be on this? You can be on it. You can go on it. You said it to me, but Greg's, but Greg asked me to come on, so I just. Well, then you should have checked that with me. And Joe Estevez and John Aprea and Jimmy McNichol. Well, I'm I'm sorry. I thought you know I thought. I had, you had, we had a relationship where you were helping. Us, you were a big part of what the on cinema community is about. Now suddenly you're our cinema. Which, by the way, I'm looking at social media. I'm studying the way people are reacting. I thought you were doing a concert. A disaster. I'm gonna give you back to, to back to Greg. Now I've been trying my fucking vibes. Bye. Energy here. Bye bye. Jesus. Sometimes the gift bags are so great that people are getting um, Nikes or these kind of uh, high-end shoes. Don't an don't answer it, please. Just don't. There's no point. Now you're gonna you're gonna not hang up. I want to explain something to you. My fucking energy uh, has been out of out of all with respect, uh, left and right by the people here. I had a stomach ache. Hello. What? I just don't understand if you're gonna have somebody else do it. Uh, actual show why you need to keep calling in and interrupting the show because just you didn't do anything on this yeah, and I you didn't did... do anything i took an opportunity bye bye so what, goodbye what? what oh. the oscar gift bag should be sort of like the way we talked about the what the oscar the award should have gone to the hobbit it went to some The butter makes it so hard to answer the... Hello? I, I want to say, first of all, if anyone's listening out there, I got the Oscar fever. Hope you got it too. Give, give, 
pour me some bubbly now. It's all you gotta do. That's what they want. Okay. They got it. Bye. Um, That's a nice thing about the VHS tape versus the DVD. They don't, they don't break. They don't break. If you drop a DVD, the discs can crack or get scratched. You can't. You could scratch a, a videotape, but in the last item in the Oscar gift bag, and you can have the actual bag, is... Yeah, we're in the middle of a, of a segment. Well, if you were here, we wouldn't be here. We'd be in the real studio. I well, I'm, that's what I'm trying to explain to you, that I feel partly like 10%, 20% responsible for 100, the... 100%. You know. Because I had, a, I had a big finale planned and written and actually had some props built and sets ready to go. Just yeah. Well, I don't know how many times I need to explain it to you that there was an opportunity for me. Well, explain and, it later so we can I'm do this segment. It and I am in a lot of pain right now because, hello? What? I'm not able to take my medication here um, because of the sort of draconian laws that they have regarding okay. um, everything. And I... When I feel like, I mean, I've been doing all sorts of other shit that they don't even know about. This has nothing to do with the Oscars. And uh, I am like, like, I'm on the 65th floor of this crazy, I don't know if it's like um, Four Seasons or some shit, but it's, we're so high up, I can see like into the, what they say is the Persian Gulf. And like sun's about to come up. Okay, I have to go now because we're tr we're in the middle of something. Okay. Um, so the gift bag also includes. I can get it. Popcorn. Oh, that's my favorite. Uh, so you can pop, you. you can pop that later. And <clears throat> finally, this is something every movie buff needs is the video movie guide. Oh boy. So you can look up movies and find out who stars in them or find out uh, if, the, if the movie's good. We'll look up a movie right now. Um, for instance, uh, let's see, In the Army Now uh, from 1994 with Pauly Shore, David Allen Greer, Laura Petty. So yeah. Just, a lot of different um, pages. A lot of try different Try looking something up and seeing movies. if it's in there. And it probably will be. Yeah, a lot of... It's got everything in here. Thank you so much, Greg. And then you can have the bag to put it all in. Good. I'm and that's our dream Oscar bag. The dream... Invest in or get involved in some way. Okay. Um, one is going to be a book that I'm, it's, I've already written most of <coughs> called... Uh, Uh, maybe. I mean, if we have time, if we don't have people calling constantly. I'm not calling constantly. I've called two times. Well, you've called more than two times, but, um, yeah, if we have time, we'll do, we'll do, have some, we could do some impressions. I just thought the hotel concierge said that because of my 
plan and the uh, room plan they have, or whatever, it's like they said, um, like, I have international calls, basically. And, um, okay, well, call England or something. Don't call us because we're in the middle of a show. Um, talk oh, to you no. later. Um, and it's called Rating the Oscars. And the idea is to sort of go through all the different movies that have won Oscars and give them ratings so that you know which ones to see and which ones to... Okay. Hello? More, as I thought before, that they only allowed, it was like 15 bucks or whatever, and now I found out it's free. But it's perhaps because of why, uh, through my Wi-Fi on the hotel. And uh, I can connect that through my phone. Okay, well, thanks for the update, and um, maybe I'll see you when you get back from Dubai. Bye-bye. Um, so, yeah, it would be sort of like a list of uh, the actors, the supporting actors, best uh, supporting actress, and then the movies, and then the movies would all be rated on a popcorn scale, one to five bags of popcorn. Probably come out through um, our cinema publishing or something like that. That sounds great. Hello? Yes, I'm trying to explain to you what's going on, okay? And unbeknownst to you, my whole uh, reason is, for, is because I care about this, what happens to, the, to you and Mark. Don't go, Even Mark. though I am, have not slept, yeah. right? I know. Well, well, get some sleep. Get some sleep. Um, we're trying to... Do we have uh, a winner? Well, the viewers do, so... Bye-bye! Um, uh, if we can announce a winner... Hello? My point, if you just let me talk for a minute, is that we are, when we look at, I'm talking like physical, like long term Oscar, right? Like there is a, there is, I got five some results. That you would probably not okay, we got an Oscar result in, so I'm going to take what this. What is it? I want to, I can't watch it. Well, uh, just ask your concierge at the hotel for, um, for the best. Best supporting. I'll look it up. Oh, hold on. I'll, I can. Hello. I want you to just keep. I won't talk. Just keep the phone on so I can hear what Mark's saying about the awards. Well, just watch it on the web. You have your. You said you had free Wi-Fi. Well, ask the go to the hotel uh, bar or something and watch the Oscars on TV. Down, I'm going to put that. I'm going to hang up. Bye-bye. Hang up on him. Okay, I have best supporting act. No. Um, Mahara Mahershala Ali for Moonlights. Are you sure about that? Yep. I'm not fucking around. I'm on the 64th floor, and there's a window here. Well, jump. Maha, uh, Moonlight won for Best Supporting Actress. Bye-bye. Um, that's, really, uh, that's really neat. Not a lot of, not a lot of uh, contestants this year for, for that, you know? I'm going to call back, or we haven't heard from him, and you told him to jump, and I'm... I mean, I know he's done a lot of bad things to me, but I, I'm just wondering. <clears throat> I don't think he would jump. Um, number seven in our countdown of ten Humphrey Bogart roles you may have missed that you Bogart in his prime. Maybe you should try him back, just because. I'll do it after the segment. If he's jumped, he's jumped. If he, I mean, I can't call. And he's hanging by a thread out the window, and then I save him. I know, but you told to him to jump, and so I'm worried. I told him a lot of things, and he d I told him not to call, too, and he kept calling. So why is he suddenly going to do what I say? If he was going to do what I say, that would be the thing to do, not to jump. 
Okay, number five. Humphrey Bogart in The Great O'Malley. Can you go to the front desk of the hotel and ask there if they know where Tim is? Tell them to look outside, see oh, if yeah, there are I, sirens. I already called everyone. I called the cops. I called, we called everyone. We, he's not there. I, so I there's no siren. That, but there's well, nobody that jumped out of the building is what I'm asking. No one, like, there's no, you didn't hear a the siren. The were actually, that's, that's the funny thing. So we went inside. I, I, I was inside the room was like, seems like it didn't get inside. The only thing that was like weird <clears> is that the, the window of the balcony and was, was opened. Like, but I don't think he would jump like from the balcony. Like, you know, like we, we party, but we don't get as, as this much fucked up, you know, after the show. Like, right. He wouldn't do that. Well, like, he would because he gets fucked up. And burns things no, down. I, but. I don't know. I don't know. Man, I, I really, uh, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm just trying to see if you maybe can't do something and try to track him down, or like, I don't know. Should okay. I, I, well, I, thanks. I don't know what to do. I don't know. What to do. Thanks for the update. I guess you know. I'm sure he's fine. Um, he's probably just at you know getting something to eat or something. But um, we're gonna get back to the Oscar show. If you don't have any picks for best actor or best actress or anything, then. Um, Listen, I don't even care about that. I okay, well, I don't care about your music, so thanks for calling. Bye-bye. Okay, well, that was um, Axiom, so it sounds like Tim's fine. And um, now we get back to the films of Marilyn Monroe and the co-stars. And there she is. And who starred with her, though? That's the question. <clears throat> a lot of times with these movies, everybody knows the prince and the showgirl, but who was the prince? We know the showgirl was. It's Marilyn Monroe, but who was the prince? It was Mr. Lawrence Olivier was the prince, if you've ever seen the prince and the showgirl. Uh, another movie... I'm going to go home, and I'm going to try to call him uh, at call home. call him from here. Well, what is the difference does it make where you're sitting when you make the call? I'm just not feeling up to this right now. I'm sorry. You, you said you would be here you, for the whole four hours. You may hours. have killed Tim. I didn't. Well, no, because if he killed himself, that's his own choice. It's always their own choice. So that's the best that we could do this time. Um, we hope you like it. Uh, 007, James Bond is always...